Hi, I'd like to welcome you to the first edition of Cold Laser TV. My name is Dr. Todd Austin. I'm your host, and I am a chiropractic physician from Verdon, Illinois. I practice at Austin Family Chiropractic in Verdon. Um, today I am in my office, uh, one of my treatment rooms, uh, while we are having the official Cold Laser TV studio um, actually put together and set up. So it's our temporary location here. I have been a chiropractor since I graduated from Logan College of Chiropractic in 1993. Uh, I've been practicing Verdon since 1996. Now, the reason that I, I'm going to talk to you today about the reason that I got into cold laser therapy initially. And obviously, cold laser therapy is one of my passions in life, and that's why I have decided to um, begin this new, uh, what we call the Cold Laser TV with the video blog. So first of all in 1993 I graduated and I thought I was pretty good at adjusting the spine, the neck, the mid back, the low back, the ribs, even adjusting the ears. Um, yes there are three little bones in the ears called the ossicles that I adjust on a regular basis with my patients that need that. But uh, what I lacked was any skill with the, you know, helping extremities. You know if someone had a shoulder wrist, elbow, I mean I pretty much sucked at all those things. So then in the year 2000 I attended some seminars by Dr. Mark Charest who's a chiropractor and he really kinda took me to the next level with the extremity adjusting. In fact I would highly recommend attending one of Dr. Charest's seminars. Uh, he gives seminars for foot levelers. He also gives seminars um, throughout the country at different um, chiropractic college homecoming events as well. So I would definitely recommend if, if you're not where you need to be with extremity adjusting as a chiropractor, I definitely recommend looking up Dr. Mark Charest. So I took Sh Dr. Charest's classes in the year 2000 and at that point I became really good when it came to treating feet, really good at ankles, really good at wrists and elbows, but at, you know, I was still kind of so-so with knees, and quite honestly, you know, it took me from being pathetic with shoulders to being about average with shoulders. Now, keep in mind with shoulder joint, it's a very complex joint, and for example, as a chiropractor, you know, if, if my only tool is chiropractic, which is basically finding bones or joints that are out of alignment and using our hands or assisted um tools or instruments to adjust those bones or joints back into their proper alignment. So that's what a chiropractor does. So if this was a shoulder and there was nothing out of alignment in any of the shoulder joints, well as a chiropractor there really wasn't a darn thing that I could do for the patient. So that's my, why my results with shoulder patients, even after the Dr. Mark Shray extremity adjusting, uh, were still pretty lackluster quite honestly. So I heard about cold lasers and I heard that one of the main things lasers were awesome for, cold lasers, was um, treating tough shoulder problems, treating acute shoulder problems, treating chronic shoulder problems. So that's why I started investigating lasers. Now I went to a seminar and this company had a laser and they were treating shoulder problems. In fact, they weren't even using proper laser techniques, which we'll save that for another video. Um, they were using what I would call improper Laser, cold laser techniques treating shoulders but they were still getting results with them. I thought this is pretty fascinating. Uh, but like I said it was a fourteen thousand dollar laser. Now one thing I learned several years back I read a book by Dr. Thomas Stanley called The Millionaire Next Door. And one thing they talk about in The Millionaire Next Door is that they really just survey millionaires, actual real life millionaires, not these Hollywood kind but the real kind. Uh, most of them don't even look like millionaires, but they went over the habits of these millionaires and they found that most millionaires, well, they take good care of their money and they don't make stupid decisions. For example, if a millionaire is going to buy a car, a lot of times he'll spend six months researching the car and then he'll go out and buy one. Uh, but a millionaire is not going to pay full price for anything. A millionaire is going to get a deal. Um, that's why they're millionaires because they didn't fritter their money away all along the way. So 
I went to this seminar, you know, and it was, man, it was tempting. There were 20 doctors at the seminar, 19 of them left signing a lease agreement to buy one of those $14,000 lasers. And I was just like, man, I can't do it. I just can't do it. So I've got to do my homework. Um, just like I learned from the Millionaire book. I need to do my homework before I jump in. So what I did is I took several months to research the laser industry. This is back in, um, this would be back in 2005 now. I took several months, actually better part of a year, to research the laser industry and the different manufacturers, what they had to offer, and also just basically digging into the science, digging into the physics of how lasers work. We have different wavelengths, we have different power levels. And so what I wound up doing at that point was I saved up my money and I found the three lasers that were best for my particular practice needs at that moment in time, 2005, the summer of 2005. So I got these three lasers. And actually the three together cost me uh, about $7,200. So um, all of these lasers, I would say, you know, I, I would put in a head-to-head -head battle with that $14,000 laser any, any day of the week, and any of my lasers would come out squarely on top. And I'm pretty confident of that. But bottom line, and I'm not saying that $14,000 is a bad laser. I mean, it's probably a pretty good laser, but it's just not worth anywhere near $14,000, in my opinion. 